look at the question given here in this question we have to find the lcm of the following numbers are 8 10 and 12 so in class 4th you have learned how to find out the lcm of given numbers so let us first write these numbers together 8 10 and 12 now we have to find out the factor or the number by which we can divide all these three numbers so 8 10 and 12 all the three numbers are divisible by 2 means we can divide 8 10 and 12 by 2 2 4s are 8 2 5s are 10 and 2 6 are 12 now as you can see 4 and 5 are not divisible by any other number than 1 but 4 and 6 both are divisible by 2 so we will divide 4 and 6 by 2 now so divide them by 2 2 2's are 4 5 will be written as it is because we cannot divide 5 by 2 so we will write 5 as it is then 2 3's are 6 so here we got 2 5 and 3 so here now we will divide it by 2 2 1's are 2 write 5 as it is and 3 as it is now take 3 so it will be 1 5 1 3 ones are 3 and then the last digit that is 5 so 1 1 1 here we got all the uh, numbers here so to find out LCM we will multiply these numbers so 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 so 2 2's are 4 4 2's are 8 8 3's are 24 and 24 into 5 120 so LCM of 8 10 and 12 is 120 in the next question we have to find out HCF of 720 and 396 now to find out HCF we have to first find the prime factors of these two numbers so let us first find prime factors of 720 720 is divisible by 2 2 3's are 6 1 left 1 and 2 12 2 6 are 12 and 0 again divided by 2 2 1's are 2 2 8's are 16 and 0 then by 2 2 9's are 18 and 0 here then again by 2 2 4's are 8 and 2 5's are 10 then 45 45 is not divisible by 2 so we will divide it by 3 3 15s are 45 then 3 5s are 15 and 5 1s are 5 so here we got the prime factors of 720 now find out prime factors of 396 so 396 is divisible by 2 2 ones are 2 1 left 1 and 9 19 2 nines are 18 then 1 left 1 and 6 16 2 8s are 16 198 it is again divisible by 2 so 2 9s are 18 2 9s are 18 99 it is divisible by 3 3 3s are 9 3 3s are 9 now again we can divide 33 by 3 3 1s are 3 3 1s are 3 
now 11 it will be divisible by 11 only 11 ones are 11 now write down all the prime factors 720 is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 then multiplied by 3 into 3 into 5 then we have 396 so it will be equals to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 11 so as you can see here we have to make the pairs now 2 is common in the factors of both number then another pair of 2 then you can see here we have a pair of 3 and another pair of 3 so these are the common factors now we will write HCF HCF will be equals to 2 we will write 1 times 2 from this pair then 1 from this one into 2 1 3 from this pair and 1 3 from the last one so 2 2's are 4 4 3's are 12 and 12 3's are 36 so HCF is 36 the next question is find the sum 1 whole 2 by 7 plus 3 by 7 plus 2 whole 5 by 7. So here 3 fractional numbers are given to us. We have to find the sum of these numbers. So firstly we will convert these two mixed fraction into improper fraction. So 1 whole 2 by 7. What we have to do, we have to multiply 7 by 1 and then add 2 in it. So 7 multiplied by 1 plus 2 upon denominator is 7 only. So it will be 7 ones are 7 plus 2 9, 9 upon 7. Then we have another fraction that is 2 whole. 5 by 7 it will be equals to 7 multiplied by 2 plus 5 upon 7. 7 twos are 14. 14 plus 5 19. So 19 upon 7. Now we will add 9 by 7, 3 by 7 and 19 by 7 so three numbers are given to us we have to write the denominator as 7 because all the three fractions are like fractions so 7 is a common denominator we will write the denominator as 7 and add the numerators here 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 19 31 31 upon 7 now convert it into mixed fraction divide 31 by 7 7 fours are 28 subtract 3 will be left so this 4 will come as the whole part 3 will be written as numerator and 7 as denominator so the sum is 4 whole 3 by 7 in the next question we have to find the difference so again firstly we have to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction so it will be 7 multiplied by 3 plus 1 upon 7 minus the second fraction 7 multiplied by 2 plus 1 upon 7 so here 7 threes are 21 21 plus 1 22 22 by 7 
minus 7 2s are 14, 14 plus 1, 15, 15 by 7. So, 22 minus 15 upon 7, it will be equals to 7 upon 7. So, 7 upon 7 means 1. In the next question, we have to arrange the following in ascending order. Fractions are given to us. All fractions are like fractions. So, we have to check their numerators and arrange them in ascending order. Ascending order means from the smallest to the greatest one. So, check the fraction with smallest numerator. You can see here 1 by 7. So, this is the smallest fraction. After that, we have 2 by 7. Then, next is 3 by 7. Then, next 4 by 7. And then, the greatest one is 5 by 7. So, now we have arranged these fractions in ascending order. In the next question, we have to arrange in descending order now. So, descending order, we will write from greatest to the smallest one. So, again, all the fractions are like fractions. So, check numerator and find out the fraction with greatest numerator. You can see here, 8 by 13. So, this is the greatest fraction. After 8, we have next 6 by 13. Then, 5 by 13. Then, 3 by 13. And, the smallest one, 2 by 13.